dollars a barrel. Well, the markets here in the U.S. and around the world are off to a shaky start this year for one reason that many economists and investors are all pointing to, and that's the upheaval in the Chinese economy. 24-hour News A political reporter Rick Alvin talked to a global economist who says China has issues, but he thinks the country is trying to deal with them. Bob Barr is the chief global economist for the Principal Financial Group, and he says worries about a faltering Chinese economy are concerning when you consider it's the world's second largest economy. But still, he says China's struggles are not necessarily going to create another global recession. People are concerned that there's going to be a sudden devaluation, a large devaluation, because China's industry is overbuilt and it's uh, it's in very, it's almost in, in a depressed state. Such a devaluation, says Barr, could cause deflation globally, creating a loss for other manufacturing entities, including those in the United States, thus the dive in the U.S. market. But he also says he believes that the country is fighting against such a devaluing of their current because that would be a sign of weakness. So we don't think there's a big devaluation coming. They want a stable currency. That's a mark of a strong country. They want to be seen as a strong country. So we, we don't think they're going to take a short-term help of weakening their currency deliberately. Still, the Chinese uncertainty has had an impact on U.S. markets, more than 900 points off the Dow last week that still hasn't been recovered. So it's not a great start for the street in 2016, but Barr and other experts says it's no indication that we are headed for another global slowdown, at least not now. I'm Rick Albin, 24-Hour News 8.